Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to make a perfect summer recipe. And this is barbecue chicken. Sorry about the noise, my neighbors. Apparently they think they're the only people who live on this block. Back to my recipe. I'm going to make this perfect Trini barbecue chicken. And I hope you guys enjoy the recipe. If you want to see how to do it, keep watching. So I have some chicken wings that I washed with some white distilled vinegar and some lemon juice. The first thing I'm adding is some green seasoning and you can find the recipe for this on my channel. I will have it linked in the upper right hand corner of this video. Now I'm adding some of this smoked paprika. I find it gives such an amazing flavor to barbecue. So I'm just adding a little bit. I'm also adding some of this Aleppo pepper powder. It's something you won't find at the grocery but you can find it on Amazon and if you can't find it, it's totally optional. You can use cayenne pepper or chili powder or you can just omit it completely. Now I'm adding some of this Goya adobo all-purpose seasoning. If you notice, I didn't add any salt to the chicken yet because all these powders do contain a little bit of salt. So I'll add my salt maybe to the end when I think that it needs a little. Now I'm massaging all those seasonings into my chicken wings and I like using my hands because I find that it gets the seasoning under the skin and it really coats the chicken properly. So if you don't want to put your bare hands on it, you can use gloves or just use a spoon if you want to. And I should have done this before but I like to poke a few holes in the chicken wings or any type of chicken you're going to use poke some holes in it because you want those seasonings to absorb in there because this chicken is going to sit in the fridge overnight so it's going to soak in all those seasonings so try to poke some holes in there and maybe before you add your seasonings poke your holes i actually forgot so i'm doing it after now I'm going in with a little bit of salt. This is Himalayan pink salt, so it's not that salty. So although it does have a little bit of salt in the seasonings, I'm adding a little bit extra. Now you wanna set your seasoned chicken wings into the fridge. You can cover your basin with plastic wrap or something. To save space, I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag and let it soak there overnight. Make sure that the bag is sitting flat so that all the juices can soak into the pieces of chicken and not just the ones at the bottom. Now I'm going to make my barbecue sauce. I have some Kraft spicy honey barbecue sauce that I'm going to add to some boiling water. I'm not going to add the entire bottle, just a little bit, like three quarters of the bottle. Now I'm adding this half of a scotch bonnet pepper. You don't have to add that. I just prefer to add it at this point because when the pepper boils in there, the sauce gets spicy. Now I'm adding some ketchup. This is totally optional. I just love the acidity that the ketchup gives and the sweetness as well. Give that a good mix and let your sauce come up to a nice boil. I also like to go in with a bay, maybe a carob or a stag, but I didn't have any so I'm just gonna improvise with some Hennessy white. You can use any type of alcohol that you want and it's totally optional. You don't have to add it. Most of it burns off anyway, but it gives the sauce a different flavor. I'm also adding some of that smoked paprika. As I said, smoked paprika gives the sauce or the barbecue chicken a really smoky, nice flavor. So if you can find it, definitely try it with your barbecue. Now I'm going to go in with a staple in every Caribbean or Trini home, some green seasoning. For me, this is one of the most important parts of my barbecue sauce. You must have enough green seasoning in there for it to taste like a real Trini barbecue. As I said, you can find the recipe to this in the upper right hand corner. Now go in with a generous amount of salt and then you can taste it after to see if it needs any more. And I'm also adding a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. You can also go in with some sugar or some honey as well. But because my bottled barbecue sauce is spicy honey, it, it's already a little bit sweet. So I'm not going to add any extra sweetness. So my sauce looks really nice and thick now. It's been going for about 10 minutes. I'm going to turn it off now and now we can start barbecuing some chicken. To a small charcoal grill, I've already added some of those wings that's been soaking overnight. And if you notice, I left the tips on. And that's just because I love to eat the tips when they're extra crispy. But if you don't like them, just trim them off. Now I'm adding some of that barbecue sauce that I made and I reserved half to actually eat the barbecue chicken with and then I have half to baste the chicken while it's cooking. 
So you just want to baste all the chicken properly and then you're going to cover it for a few minutes and then we'll come back and turn it and baste it again. So we're going to brush another layer of the barbecue sauce on it. Yum. I love when the tips get burned. So you guys can cut the tips off if you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed my version of Trini barbecue chicken. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to leave me all your comments down below. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all my latest videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!